Hello, welcome to this tutorial. Let's see in a short time how to apply basic color corrections and color grading with DaVinci Resolve. Visit our YouTube channel and our official website for extra news, reviews, and tutorials dedicated to DaVinci Resolve. All the features dedicated to color adjustments are collected inside the color workspace, taking all the videos and pictures from the project made on the edit workspace. First of all, select the footage to adjust from the timeline panel. This appears on the preview on the center showing the time frame where the marker is placed. At the bottom, you have all the panels needed to make adjustments on the selected clip. You can apply color correction to match screen or film standards and improve the general appearance, and color grading to modify colors to transmit a message, a strong emotion, or to emphasize any moment. There are several panels you can use on the left side. In this video, we will see the basic color wheels, the curves, and the window panels. The color wheels correct each channel color of the Resolve YRGB code. R for red, G for green, B for blue, Y for luminance, which represents the amount of white or light. The RGB colors can be adjusted and mixed together, whereas the luminance is set on its own, being the sum of all the colors becoming white. Under Primaries Wheels, you can correct colors on three different sections of the footage. Its darkest parts with lift, its midtones in between with gamma, and the lightest parts with gain. The adjustments made on each wheel overlap with the others to make smoother color transitions between the darker and the lighter parts of the clip. You can also use the offset wheel to correct the colors on any part of the whole clip. You can adjust the colors on each wheel by clicking and dragging from its center and reset all by double-clicking on it. Before making any change on the lift and gain wheels, it's always better to balance the whites and the blacks of the clip by using the cross button in the top left corner. Clicking on the brightest white and the darkest black on the preview. At the bottom, you can use the master wheels to correct the luminance for each part of the clip. These act on all the channel colors in the same way. Besides the primary wheels, you also have the log ones. These divide the clip in shadows, highlights, and midtones that do not have any clip region in common. This is useful to apply more precise adjustments with no smoothness or non naturalistic effects on the clip. Below the wheels, you can also use the adjustment controls to apply general correction on the whole clip, such as contrast, color intensity with saturation, and the basic colors with hue. You can also use temp and tint to add color filters and MD to add blur or sharpen details. The curves panel is used to adjust the intensity of each RGB color or the overall light with Y by shaping the curve over the clip histogram on the background. This shows the original color intensity from the shadows on the left to the highlights on the right. These curves are independent from the wheels adjustments and will be simply added to the clip on their own. Within the same panel, you can use other views to shape several envelope curves that apply corrections on specific colors chosen from the graph. Use Hue versus Hue to change colors, Hue versus Sat to correct color intensity, and Hue versus Loom to correct luminance. As you edit the clip appearance, you can take a look on both the preview and the scopes panel on the right with color histograms, graphs, and advanced color distribution. All these adjustments can be made on limited portions of the footage by using the window panel. 
you can add and apply any rectangular, rounded, or freehand region, delimiting the part interested by your modifications. This can be customized in shape and feather directly on the preview. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to check our YouTube channel for more free and outstanding guides.